Hello, everybody, and welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury from the TeacherCast Educational Network. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get started creating a Microsoft Teams environment for your school district. And in order to do that, we're going to first dive into Outlook and show you how to create Outlook groups, otherwise known as distribution groups, for your school. So here we are in Microsoft Outlook for the web and our goal in this video series is to help your school district get into and use effectively Microsoft Teams. Now you might be wondering why are we starting an Outlook? Why not just create a team in Microsoft Teams? The reason why we want to create our Outlook group first is so number one we have a distribution list for email and number two we have a unified calendaring system. Microsoft Teams is an amazing application, but one of the things that it doesn't have natively to it is a group calendar. And when you're creating your Microsoft Teams environment for your school district, you're going to want to have an internal calendaring system that is tied to email. So that way everybody in your team, organization, or school building has all the information they need. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be in Outlook in our email section, and we're going to click on groups. You'll see I have two groups here already, one for my editorial calendar and one that says My Awesome Planner. And what we wanna do is we wanna create a new group. I'm gonna click on Create New Group. And this brings up our new group menu. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this group the name of my school building or my department or my organization. Now you'll notice a couple things have happened here. I've named it my awesome demo school building. And you notice now that it's also created an email address that becomes the distribution contact for my group. Now anybody that's in the group, I can easily add this email address to and everybody gets it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a description. And I have a couple default settings. If I hit the edit button, I can change this group to being public or private. Now, if you're doing this for your school, I highly recommend that your group be private. So that way other people in your organization can't automatically or accidentally join it. The next thing here, it says members will receive all group conversations and events in their inboxes and they can stop following or in other words, they can unsubscribe. I like to keep that checked on here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit create. Now it's gonna ask me to add members, so I'm gonna add myself to this group. And I've got two options. I can become a member or I can be an owner. And today, I'm gonna to become an owner. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add and move to the next screen. And here we are. We have our group. We can send an email to our group. We can create new files. We can add a group calendar or we can always change and update anything here. We now have a notebook, we now have a planner, we now have a site, and we now have a settings. We're gonna get to all of these in future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below and hit that like and subscribe button. We are here to help you guys create an amazing Microsoft Teams environment for your school, your building, or your organization. Here we are in our calendar view in Microsoft Outlook. You'll notice here under groups, I now have a new group called My Awesome Demo School Building. And if I add a meeting here, I can certainly create anything, I can save it, and now everybody in my group automatically has this on their calendar. So as you can see, it's very easy to create an Outlook group or a distribution or contact group for your organization. My recommendation is to take the time to do this first step. I know it's easy just to go into Teams and click on that new team button. We're gonna cover all of that in our next video, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions about this or anything, please leave a message below in our comment section. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. And that wraps up this episode of EdTech in the Classroom, helping you create an amazing Microsoft Teams environment for your classroom, your school, or your organization. 
On behalf of everybody here on the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.